everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, my name's Holly. The other day I thought to myself, I wanna buy more makeup. So I did, spent some money. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys two things that I bought. First thing is an eyeshadow palette and I have been looking at this for quite a while and I'm so glad I got it. I was in two minds, so I was like, do I get this one or that one? If I could, then I'd get both. But I got the Stacey Marie Be Perfect Carnival palette and it's so colourful. Wait, let me get this on. And it looks like this inside. So as you can see, I've swatched every single colour. I'm so happy I got this because it's got the two highlighters, so many bright mattes, and then nice deep matte shades too. And then the kind of like foiled shadows as well. So I can create so many looks with this palette, I can tell already. I can't wait. The second thing I got were the Sosu and Kaylee brushes. So I needed some new brushes and I know these are supposed to be quite good. I'm especially very excited because it has one of these brushes here, which is like a little tiny detailed shader brush. And for those of you who've seen my other videos, you know I love my BH Cosmetics one. But as I admitted it in my last video, I did actually singe it for hair dryer. Rest in peace. So I'm really excited. I love playing around with new makeup and I'm really happy with what I got. So if you want to see what I create, then make sure you keep watching. I've just made a start on my other eye. I like to do that because I feel like if you can see one eye and then me do the other eye, you can see it come together kind of thing. But yeah. Firstly, I went in for my brows and I used my NYX Micro Brow Pencil, this one. The only reason why I'm using this is because I can't find my Primark one. So I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I do like this brow pencil. I just feel like sometimes if I go over the same area to much it kind of like it just doesn't apply more pigment if that makes sense so i like to go underneath first roughly and then i start to get the shape and then i go through the top every time i do my eyebrows they seem to like molt and just bits of hair fly around everywhere Stop it. So when I'm filling out my brows, I like to just spoolie through them because it makes it look a lot more natural. So I think I'm happy with that. I just like to bring the tail out a little bit as well. Just to elongate my brow and spoolie the front. To carve out my brows and apply my base, I'm gonna use my trusty P. Louise base. This is in the shade two. And I'm using the SK05 brush from the Sosu and Kaylee um, brush, eye brush set, I can't speak. The brush that I normally use to carve out my brows and for my cut crease is this one. So the difference that I noticed was this one's a lot more stiff. I don't know if it's because it's got loads of product buildup in it, but it's definitely not as fluffy as the other one. Um, when I started using this one, I was like, oh my God, it actually moves, which was a good thing, but it does take a little while to get used to. And that brush was literally like, I don't even know, like a pound. <laughs> so I'm just going through the front. This feels so nice. I feel like when you always use the same product or like the same brush, it takes you a while, especially with brushes, to kind of get used to it. It applies the product a lot smoother. But to be honest, my last concealer brush was really cheap, so <laughs> it did me well, but I feel like I've definitely upgraded now. So I'm doing what I normally do, and this part I definitely notice a huge difference because with my other concealer brush that I normally do this with, it kind of went a little bit like, I don't know, this just feels a lot more seamless. I feel like it's more flexible and a lot softer. So applying the base was so much easier, especially when I go for the corner here. I don't feel like I'm stabbing my eye. <laughs> it's just like molding into the shape of my eyelid, which is good. I don't know if you guys can see, but it just looks very smooth. Okay, next what I did was I took a Morphe blending brush, like I normally do, and just blended out the edges into my skin. 
Onto the shadow. The first colour I took was this purple shade here called Wasted. I love the names. I really like it when the names are on the palette because it just makes your life so much easier. For the purple, I used the SK02 brush. This brush is in between a fluffy and a more dense-ish brush. It's flatter through the edge there. Um, so you can kind of pack it on nicely and blend it at the same time a little bit. I'm just packing it on in my crease. As soon as I applied this shade, I was like, oh my God, I love it. The only thing I will say is a lot of these shades do have a lot of kickback in the pan, so just be careful. It doesn't really bother me, but you just, you don't need to use a lot of product. So I'm just packing on that shade. And I'm keeping it rounded today, so I'm not gonna pull it out or anything. I've stuck my eyelash on and I can feel it stabbing my inner corner. <laughs> ah! And I refuse to take it off because I just can't bother to put it back on again. It's on there, so it's staying on. So now I'm gonna go in with this shade here called Funky, which is amazing, I love it. And I'm using one of my older brushes, the BH Cosmetics number eight brush. Just because I don't have like multiple amounts of the same brush in the set, so I need to kind of use the other ones too. I'm just pressing on that pink. Oh my God, look how pigmented that is. I've not even dipped back in. This is the first layer. Oh my goodness. I'm just pressing that on again. And then I'm just going over where the purple ends just to start blending it. Now I'm gonna take the SK02 brush that I use for the purple and just really, really lightly start blending it out. I'm going in like circular motions. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that purple and then lightly blend it out as well. So I'm kind of just building it up and blending it at the same time. I tend to just pack on the colors loads and then just blend it out after. So this is probably kind of a different technique, I suppose. It's always good to try different things. Sometimes as well, I feel like I do my makeup differently because it depends on my mood. Oh, Lordy. You guys should see me in a rush. Oh my God. It is definitely the opposite to my videos. On my videos, I spend the most time because I can sit here for hours and just do my makeup. But day to day life, I'm always running late and I'm always in a rush. And my makeup really doesn't look as good as it does on YouTube. That should be my goal. I need to be able to spend more time on my makeup if I am going out. I don't know what happens, I'm just so unorganized. <laughs> My friends are probably shouting this video like, yeah, you're always late. Sort it out. Okay, the next shade I'm gonna take is Guilty, this one here. And I'm taking the SK03 brush. So it's a little bit like my BH Cosmetics, not got a number on it because it's rubbed away. But this has been my favorite brush to blend out my eyeshadows because it's teeny weeny. It feels so soft and it's a little bit longer as well. So I feel like you can get a little bit more like, I don't know, just, I like it. And I'm going round the purple and I'm just blending out even more with the shade Guilty. I'm still keeping it rounded through the edge. I feel like because the bristles are longer on this brush than my other one, it really helps it kind of blend a bit more. This is a lot more flexible. Now to blend out the pink, I'm actually gonna go in with the same brush, but I've just wiped it clean, because I don't have another one. The shade I'm gonna go in with is Foolish. Foolish, Foolish, I can't speak. So I'm lightly blending out that pink. I'm not applying much pressure at all, I'm just kind of tickling the skin. And then I'm gonna blend it into the skin just by doing bigger circular motions. At this stage, I'm gonna repeat the steps just to make it a little bit more pigmented. So I'm gonna take my SK02 brush that I use for the purple and just build up the pigment a little bit more. Pack it on. This 
this stage of your eyeshadow, you just want to kind of do what suits you. So I'm repeating the exact same steps that I did before, but some bits I probably won't repeat again. Like I packed on the purple twice and then I'm using the shade Guilty, which was the second shade I used to blend that out. And I'm probably just going to keep going over that bit there. Just because I want it to blend. I'm going back in with Funky. I'm just kind of pressing over where the purple begins. Pretty! And then again with Foolish. So that's the main part of the shadow done. I'm now gonna cut my crease and I'm using the brush that I use for my brows to carve them out. And this is the SK05 brush. So it looks like this, nice and thin on the side, which is what you want. As always, I'm using the P. Louise base. So I'm just gonna do a half cut crease and I'm just pressing on the product. Now I'm just filling in my cut crease by pressing on the product. So it'll give you a lot more coverage than swiping it. I'm gonna take the SK06 brush. So this is like a tiny, weeny little detailed brush. So it's really good for packing on shadows on your lid. I saw in Kaylee's video, she said you can cut your crease with this as well. And I think she actually uses this one to cut your crease. Um, I'm going in with the shade Pink Me, which is this one. So it's a nice shimmer shade and it's got pink reflex. Can't go wrong with that. And I'm just pressing that on in my inner corner. This brush is so good, like so much better than what I normally use because a lot of the times some of you might remember from my last videos, I um, use like the, oh, let me show you. I use this one to pack it on mainly, but it's so thick, it's so hard to get it precise. And then I tend to use, where are you? This one, but it's kind of too pointy, I think. So this is so good because it's really thin and the shape's really nice. It's kind of like rounded only a little bit. So yeah, that is why I'm in love with this brush right now. I'm packing on the shadow like I always do. Once I did that, I used my SK02 brush that I used for the purple. I didn't apply any more shadow. I just used the leftover of what I used before. And I just started pressing over the harsh line so I can start blending it. Now I just added some more of that shadow and built it up. So I always do this. I always take the same brush that I used and don't apply any more product. And then after I've blended it a little bit, I then go in with more product. I really hope that makes sense because I don't think it did. <laughs> then I took my SK06 brush that I used for my inner corner pink thingy. And the shade I took was this shade here, which looks amazing. It's called Breezy. And I just applied that. This is so nice. I feel like sometimes foiled shadows in palettes aren't really very good. And they go a bit chalky or they're actually not very pigmented or very shimmery. But this one is amazing. When I swatched it, I was like, oh my God. And I'm just going right up to my crease. After I applied that blue, I then kind of just blended it into that kind of whitey pink shade. But I didn't apply any more product, I just let them merge together. And it looks so pretty. Now I've got that blue on as well, I just kind of made sure it blended really nicely with the purple. And I'm being really messy with this because I want it to blend in really nice. Now I'm gonna start on my face. I've just lined my lash line with my liquid eyeliner and popped some lashes on. Well, this lash. Another thing that I got the other day, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. Thank you, Erin. 
If you don't know who Erin is, she's a YouTuber and she's amazing at makeup, so go and follow her. But she always recommends this Peaches and Cream PC04 brush for foundation, and oh my god. Like, I never use brushes for foundation because I feel like it just creates lines and the beauty blender is so much better. But I used this the other day and it's literally amazing. It's so fluffy. So I'm going to use my 24-hour Superstay Foundation by Maybelline. This is in the shade Sand, which is probably way too dark for me because I bought this when I was in Australia. I'm just going to... Oh, that was close. Apply some... Oh, my God. Have you seen my friend? Oh... It's just not budging. I think it's been with me now for about two weeks, so yeah. Definitely bonded, but I'd like it to go now. If I just pack it on, like so. If any of you are looking for a foundation brush, honestly, you have to get this. Like, I've only tried it with my bourgeois um, foundation, because I like to use that in the day, because it's quite light. Uh, and I haven't used it with this yet, but this is, it's going really well again. So I feel like it's just a really good brush. It's so fluffy. I also noticed the other day when I used this for the first time that it felt a lot lighter, like the foundation didn't feel as heavy on my skin. I don't know why, I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm just loving it, so. Lovely. Sip of wine. Cheers, everyone. For bronzer, I'm going to use my Hoola Benefit bronzer. I feel like everyone has this bronzer or has at least tried it. I'm taking it on my BH Cosmetics number two brush. Um, I'm just working it on my cheekbones. I do love cream contouring, but most of the time I just use powder. Um, I think it's because, I don't know, unless I've got loads of time and... I'm going out or something, um, I will just only use kind of bronzer or powder. I'm gonna keep this nice and soft, so I'm not gonna sculpt my cheekbones or anything crazy. I know I've done loads of colorful looks lately, but firstly, it's because they're my favorite looks to do. <laughs> and secondly, I was actually supposed to do kind of more of a natural look today, but my new palette came and I was like, I have to use it. I can't not use it. To be honest, I can do a natural look for that palette, but I just thought, I wanna show you guys like the pigment payoff and the colors, so yeah. For my next video, I'm really gonna try and do like a really natural look. Kind of like what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Probably not when I'm waking up for work in the morning and I'm like, oh, I just put anything on. Probably more like I'm making an effort, but I want to still look quite natural. So yeah, I definitely am going to do that. So let me know what you guys think and what you want to see. So I'm going to conceal under my eyes and I'm using my PS My Perfect Colour Liquid Concealer. Just going to go under my eyes and then down my nose. This one's really light because I didn't have my shade that I normally use, but it don't matter. And then highlight my forehead. Got a bit of hair hanging down me. I'm just taking my beauty blender and blending that out. This year I'm so excited for summer and when festivals start. Just because it will be the first time I've been doing YouTube and my makeup and everything around that time of year. So I literally cannot wait because as well, that's when my colorful looks will be more acceptable. <laughs> I feel like some people are like, okay, where can I wear this look? But you'd be surprised. Okie dokie, now for powder. Now for powder, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This is in the shade Fair Light. Don't hate me, but I actually didn't get this in England and I don't know if I do in England yet. I don't know why, because it's such good powder. <laughs> my voice went funny then. For my powder, I like to use my BH Cosmetics Number no. 4 brush. It's really soft, but it's kind of a bit more dense. I like to press the powder 
into my skin. I'm gonna go under my eyes and I press it right into my pores just to suffocate my pores a little bit. <laughs> I really want to try the Hourglass um, Translucent Powder, but it's so expensive. I know it's kind of got like a little glow to it, I think. I think that's the one anyway. But um, yeah, I do want to try a lot more powders, but some of them are so expensive. So the brush that I'm taking for my under eyes is the SK04 brush. So it's actually a really, really soft kind of pencil smudger brush. And I'm going to take the shade Wasted that I did in my crease firstly. And I'm just gonna bring that right up to my lash line. I'm gonna stop kind of halfway because my outer corner is really quite deep and then I wanna do the same for underneath. I'm just wiping off the same brush because I want to use it for the pink as well. So I'm going back in with Funky, the one that I used in my crease for my inner corner. Uh, I'm going to run that along here. Now to blend that out, I'm going to use the SK03 Tiny Little Shader Brush. I'm not applying any product, I'm just going to kind of blend out those shades. So for blusher, I'm going to use my Maxi Rimmel London Blush in the shade Expose. And I'm taking that on my BH Cosmetics number no. 3 brush. Just tapping off the excess. I love blusher. I literally used to hate blusher. Like I didn't really hate it, I just thought, mm, why would you wear blusher? I just like to pull it up a bit as well. Now for highlighter, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorese highlighter because it's my favorite and it's the best highlighter in the world. Just applying that on the top of my cheekbones. It makes me so happy when I wear this highlighter because I never wear it to work or anything. So it's like a special occasion when I put it on. Oh, got some ink in my hair. Yeah, just put tip of my lip. I love putting highlighter there. If you don't ever put highlighter on the top of your lip, just try it because I love it so much. I think it makes your lips look so nice. Now for lips, I wanna go in with my NYX lip liner in the shade Mauve. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Velvet Teddy and bringing it back. I used to use this all the time along with the whole of the nation, I think. So now we have the finished look. I really hope you guys like this look. I love it. I'm so happy with how it came out. It all came together really nicely. I really, really like this palette. I haven't managed to use every colour because there's so many colours in here. But I feel like you can create so many different looks with it. And I'm very excited because, oh, I didn't actually use these highlighters. Okay, next time we do this palette, I'm gonna use these highlighters. Um, two of the brushes that I didn't get to use today were these two, and this one's the SK07 brush. I have watched a tutorial with um, Kaylee using this, and she said it's really good for like gel eyeliner or in your waterline. And then this brush here, which I completely forgot about, is a really good brush for highlighting. Ooh. And it's the SK01 brush, so mm, that's actually really soft. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you like the look that I created. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!